So, what's going on, Hot Jaffa? For those of y'all who don't know, we have an open mic here every second and fourth Thursday from three to six. The open mic list is open. You're more than welcome to come join us. It's an all arts open mic, so that means if you do music, poetry, if you write short stories, even if you're just a community plug, you got something that's going on in the community you want us to know about, a small business, somebody we should be supporting. We can only do that when we share that information. So this is literally a, an all arts, all community open mic. Uh, we will be here till six o'clock, uh, and we'll be getting started shortly. We have a, some, real, some real dope folks for y'all today. It's gonna be a real good day. on. So I'm your open mic host, Mariah Ecology. Good to have y'all here today. Oh, no. 
So this is a great, nice and intimate space for you to work on whatever it is you want to work on, share whatever it is you want to share with community. So please feel free to hop on the open mic list. It is open. It is right there. You are more than welcome to it. Uh, I'm going to tell you real quick what we got going on. Uh, tomorrow, I will be at Confidential Coffee starting at 6 o'clock from 6 to 9, maybe 10 o'clock. We'll see how long we can push it, but it's a great time. It's the best $5 party on a Friday night you'll find in Long Beach. And then on Saturday, uh, we do open mic over here on the Bluff. We're going to be there every Saturday for the rest of the summer from 11 to 5. So come on out. Come get this music. Come get the sunlight. It's great. All right. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for your, your first performer who's not me? Come on down. All right, y'all. Please help me welcome Rain Dog to the mic. Hi, I'm Rain Dog. Uh, brief history, I've been publishing poetry for about 26 years. I recently had to retire from that, and I'm trying to reestablish myself as a poet uh, here in Long Beach. So I'm going to read a couple of poems from this book, Fire and Rain, Volume 2. Um, it's first one of the first books I published. OK. This, uh, this poem is called City No Escape. I'm so tired of living here alone in this sprawl of lights and concrete and sweat, of placing one foot in front of the other, huffing my way around this concrete racetrack with one eye on the carrot and the other looking over my shoulder waiting for the man to slap me on the back and say, come on now, we got your sorry ass. Living on dreams, working all the angles, getting love whenever or however, not just from sex, but from a smile or a way the light bounces off a car window on the street, or the, from the smell of midnight blooming jasmine, from a song on the radio while you know you're driving your life sideways away from the current dream that keeps you moving along. And you know that in that moment, you can say, uh, that the song can ha can say love more than uh, deeply than uh, all the late night kisses and penetrating looks your lover might give you. And you could only appreciate and savor that moment alone because you are alone mostly and you and your ride, a clean window and light traffic, the music sometimes beautiful, sometimes ugly beyond belief, but always there, even when the radio is silent, always there in the stillness of that moment, in the presence of the cityscape that rolls past you like a silent movie with a separate soundtrack of whoosh and roar, of song and chatter, of honk and s sirens wail and tires hum and, you, and whine, and you watch a di watch it day in and day out from the safety of your head, from the theater of one. What is it that keeps us in this particular groove? What forces keep us from jumping right out and sliding onto, into another like some miraculous recovery? There is a longing, a gnawing in the gut, an aching in the soul that is always present, always your companion, like an old injury that never healed right, or an unpaid debt, or a piece of karmic grit that may or may not become a, a pearl of wisdom, a knowledge that something ain't right, you hear, and you sense it, but mostly you ignore it, block it out, this feeling of incompletion, as if it could be buried beneath the daily input, the daily ration of numbness, another course of bricks, another coat of paint, another hour of the silent movie in the theater of one, another moment rolling past where you look out and in the absence of a star, look instead at the lights on Echo Park Lake 
and make a wish for a theater of two, for someone to share the theater, the silent movie, for someone to confirm, to bear witness to the silent movie, to the magical play of light and sound and the wonder and horror of it all. Left foot, right foot, bad. Pages are stuck together, I hate that. Step, step, stepping, huff, huff, huffing, roll, roll, rolling, right foot, left foot, keep moving, don't stop now, where's that carrot, who's that behind me, left foot, right foot, going, going, gone. So, that's one. Oh, thank you. And this other one I wrote uh, October 27th, 1996, 98, 97, 98, yeah. On the, um, the, the birth date of uh, Charlie Parker. And, okay, here we go. It's what I call a jazz poem, but it may not be an actual jazz poem, but I, I'm self-taught, so forgive me. Yardbird burned. Yardbird burned, all wick, no candle. Made it to the sun and back, unlike Icarus. Yardbird couldn't burn out. His spirit was the flame by which he burned. Yardbird burned till there was only a husk left, till all the notes, the bebop and bitty black notes, were piled at his feet like cigar ash. Yardbird swung his sacks in a mighty arc, like an axe, spinning like a dervish, carving a niche out of the don't take it for granite walls of swing jazz tradition. Yardbird shaped a bop cigar cophagus out of his brief time on this planet. The bop line firing volley after volley of bitty black notes skyward, unleashing them like blackbirds, blotting out reality's harsh light to the wee wee hours. Yardbird was never at ease, never at rest. He was, fingers were always a blur, accelerating, 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 and then time shifted gears in self-defense into slow motion, then to stand still. Yardbird smiled, cause only he saw the joke. Yardbird burned, did not really pay, play his sax, it played him played him until his reed fell apart, broke down, disintegrated, broke bird down. Time finished him with a smile on his face, death by cosmic relief. You say it was H that took his life, but you are wrong. H lulled Mr. Charlie into slowing down. Hypno enticed him, slowed him down, promised him the means to survive this heartbreak we call life. He, he H slowed the bird down, gave time a clean shot. Time took it from there. Yard bird burns still. Thank you. Awesome, y'all. Give it up one more time for Rain Dog. That was amazing. You ready, Matt? Yeah. Yeah? So we have Matt coming up next, and he is going to try something new out today. So we're really excited to see how this plugs in. What do you need me to do, Matt?
Yo, yo, you hear a harmony in my voice? All right, I think we got it. All right, man. Ooh. Okay, that's. It sounds kind of like them sci fi movies. This is what it sounds like when like the aliens in the movie start talking. Is it clipping a little bit? Are we getting a traction down here? Yeah. I might want to try something lighter. <laughs> Got it? All right. All right, y'all. I was just not going to get used to that. You trying a new one? No, nah, this still sounds like the aliens. Please help me welcome Matt to this to this mic. <laughs> hey, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm going to do just a ten minute or shorter medley of a bunch of songs that I've written over the years. This uh, let's kick it off with this one. Some after some I lose Nickels and dumb Holes in the sum I can get A dollar So I can buy you a flower Got this chorus part. Oh, the lyrics to it. <laughs> oh, oh, but I remember this one. Still have to go to war. There's people and all. 
offices say it's all explained in a book described in two different kinds of arrows cause I don't care what happens overseas cause I got me obedient modesty slow. 
Some of the songs I uh, did from Chaz Nate, Chaz Nate, and since then I've usually make up my own on the spot. I'm gonna try that now, and if I fail, I fail. If I don't, I don't. Let's see, I'm just have some fun. Ah, Java, ah, Java, open mic, open mic, yeah. Care if I'm even sounding cringe. I, I just I just don't care. Thank you. All right, give it up one more time for Matt, y'all. Yes. Next up, we got Kendall coming to the stage with some true acoustics, okay? <laughs> I say true acoustics because I don't have a guitar chord. <laughs> but that's okay because we're in a small, intimate space and y'all gonna listen, so it's gonna be just fine. It's perfect, yeah. All right, so my name's Kendall, um, and I'm gonna play some originals for you, try out some ones that I haven't played really live a lot. Um, and we have a festival, um, Sounds of Sandy Festival, July 1st, with a bunch of the Long Beach musicians, so that'll be super fun. Um, yeah. All right, so this song um, is out now on Spotify. It's my first co-release. A um, little more electronic on Spotify, but here's kind of how I wrote it initially. It's called Not Fully In. Okay. I know I'm supposed to the making you away, making you sweat, thinking about how I could end this thing, but I don't tend to play those games, we each have a right to feel a certain way, hey, hey, I know that you're not fully in, it doesn't change, how I want the night to end 
You've done something to me, not sure what exactly. Let's begin and see what that could be. Hey, hey, I've thought about it, don't care about it. The part that you're not all about it, I can't erase the way I play your name, girl. Can't get around it, the thoughts about you, the feels I got them, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, yeah, yeah. It might seem far-fetched, but that's how I react, full heart, all in, no regrets. No regrets, yeah, yeah. I just think that we could be great. No need to say that you feel the same. Cause I've thought about it, don't care about it. The part that you're not all about it, I can't erase. The way I play your name, girl, can't get around it. The thoughts about you, the feels I've got them, hey. Hey, hey. Your vagueness, your metaphors got me begging, begging for more. Your vagueness, your metaphors got me. I'm begging for more. I think about you, care about you. It's every damn little thing about you. I can't erase the way my heart breaks. Thank you. And then I saw your, oh my god, okay. All right. Yeah, so my bad, we could have heard it in, in <laughs> Let's go. All right, perfect, it's okay. Now you'll just have to listen on Spotify for the, for the actual song. Um, okay, so this one I actually wrote this week. Um, it's a, uh, yeah, new, new. I was like practicing this morning and um, the good thing about your own songs is if you forget <laughs> words no one really knows, can hum through, but um, I don't know, I might get emotional, it's about family and you guys might understand, but... And still you find something wrong What I need is for you to listen Love me anyway Even when I do my own thing Why can't you be happy? Is it cause you care so much about me and you? Wonder why we don't come home Cause home doesn't feel warm Doesn't feel warm. You want me to stop writing songs all about the girls I love? Well, here you go, a song for you. You're very fucking old. Something about how I don't feel love for being me. Where I wanna go, who I wanna love, and you. Do I we seem cold? Cause home doesn't feel warm. Home doesn't feel warm. When will you understand? I'm not gonna end up with a man. When 
Something wrong, it's what I need for you to listen. Love me anyway when I do my own thing. And why can't you be happy? Is it cause you care so much about me and you? Wonder why we don't come home. Cause home doesn't feel warm. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna play one more for you guys. Um, it's called. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now we got the cord in. <laughs> it's good. It's good. We like to give you guys teasers, you know. Okay, so I'll play this song called Slow My Mind Down, the first song I released. Um, yeah. Soon enough, I'll back up. I and I. I can slow my mind. trying to live in the moment you never know what'll happen next so why are we holding back holding back it's on my mind now cause baby hold on now i want to take you home
Thank you guys. it up one more time. Can we hear me now? Now we can hear me. Give it up one more time for Kendall, y'all. Yes. Oh, man. So if y'all want to come check her out, she's going to be playing at our festival. We are throwing a little festival down here um, in Long Beach on July the 1st. It's going to be a, a six-hour festival, okay? Uh, right over there on 3rd Street at Gray LB. It's uh, $20 per ticket. Um, I believe right now it's 21 plus, um, and yeah, it's going to be great. So we're going to have amazing local talent like that at our festival. Yay. <laughs> Y'all ready for some more? Yeah, we ready for some more? I think so. Please help me welcome the legendary Sundiata to the stage. piece is uh, well, it's kind of a sad name. It's a, this piece is called Hits. And um, I was uh, conversing with a, a famous poet named Oscar Brown Jr. I used to go to his house in Chicago, East and Gabriel. And uh, he wrote a piece called Hazel Hits. And uh, so I just wrote a piece about Hits because I was inspired by his. It's nothing like it, but here it goes. She wears a sexy set of hips that plays a samba when she walks, like a willow that moves in a gentle breeze or a panther when she stomps. Ipanema hips that caught many an eye and often carried many a child. Hula hips that could sink ships playing peekaboo in grass skirts, telling stories on firelit beaches. Hips that move on their own and do double duty and when connected to the right booty. That causes men to stare at the onset of her approach, playing a silent symphony heard by those fascinated by the pyramid. Special hips that drop lips, creating envy and admiration, calling old men to dream of younger days in total fascination. Hips that carry young ones too tired to walk, looking rhythmic and effortless, at an African market wrapped in exquisite kita cloth. Shake array hips that play an African groove and catch every rhythm drop and then move two more times after the drum has stopped. Hips that young girls dream of saying, put your hands on your hips, let your backbone slip, I'll shake it to the east, I'll shake it to the west, I'll shake it to the one that you love the best. And while all that shaking's going on, mama standing on the porch with her hands on hers, shaking her head, saying, child, what you think you're doing? Hips that, that are more powerful than a double-barrel shotgun, yet as gentle as a feather in a summer breeze. Tenderness is the idiom of her butterfly wings, yet the volume of her assets cannot be subdued, restrained, bottled, chilled, or controlled. Her precious possessions are visions of Mother Earth's best, and she is the Mother Earth's and she is Earth's mother, hips and all. Thank you. Man, you know you something when it only takes one for you to drop the mic, right? Woo wee. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So I'm gonna pause just real quick because one of the things that I really like to do with this mic is a community plug. So if there are any events or small businesses out there that we should be aware of or that y'all wanna direct our attention to to support, please let us know. How you doing? Please let us know. 
So we want to share this space with you. If there's any plugs out there, anybody got anything going on in the community? Go ahead. Well, you know what, since you coming up next, you want to just come on up there and tell the people in the mic so they can hear you? All right, so please help me welcome Tommy Domino to the stage. Greetings, beautiful people. Um, thank you for having this space. I'm a little taller. So I'm going to be at the uh, L.A. County Fair in Pomona this Sunday with some other poets between the hours of 4 and 8 with the Lion Life, Lion Mindset, Lion Mindset Group. Am I saying that right? Lion Like Mindset Group from Pomona. I'm going to be doing something with them. So um, I'm excited about that. So uh, me and Studiata. We've been working out today. We've been walking for about six to eight miles. So please forgive me. I'm very casual today and a little sweaty. But I'm going to do a couple of pieces for you. The first one, a couple of weeks ago, I was on the freeway on the 710, and I had this blowout. And my life flashed before my eyes. So... Somehow I was able to make it from the fast lane over to the side. And as I made it to the side, barely, uh, I was writing this poem as I was waiting for the AAA guy to come. It's called Death. Death came to collect me today. She arrived too soon was a little bit too eager. She jumped the proverbial gun, was a little too high strung, arriving to the door only to find the welcome mat was turned upside down. She arrived unexpectedly like a train 20 minutes early, a butterfly trying to dash past the chrysalis stage. Destiny did not approve the paperwork she arrived to add me to her collection like the other bobbleheads in history. I cannot lie, I've seen her before. Both of us gazing at the barrel of a gun back in the 80s. She wore a smirk, but she wasn't too smug. She had grown accustomed to false calls, false alarms. A fragile pulse is her labor pain. She roamed the caves of Calvary for days, searching. She captures souls in a small alabaster jar. Only the very young offer resistance. The elderly are greeted like old friends. In a past conversation, she said, you should just view me as a cosmic transporter, like a bus driver taking you from one dimension to the next. She would never understand why humans long to stay in this temporary dwelling. The struggle to anchor life between breath and heartbeat, where nights and days are parceled out and divided between 70 years. 70 years is a millisecond in her realm. But none of this really is her concern. Once the docket is stamped, she collects. Every day, life and death is dealt like poker cards. 52 cards, like 52 weeks in a year. But right now, the earth does not need my nutrients yet. The worms will have to find somewhere else to play. Death came to collect me today. She jumped the proverbial gun Arrived too soon, she was a bit too eager, a little too high strung. Arriving to my door only to find the welcome mat turned upside down. So, she leaves for now, never saying goodbye, but always, I'll see you 
a little further down the road. I'm a black bird. Born with clipped wings, scatting the chirpy blues to yesterday's already lost. Internal compass done crisscross my path along rugged trails. No place to call home, nomadic I roam the earth, gazing at clouds shaped like cowrie shells. Restless orphan egg, bred in a dingy nest, the rest options few, same field, same house, same blues. Sorrow moves through my veins. Mama's name is lonely and daddy's is pain. It's like my fate is ordained to a one-way lane, zigging and zagging landmines to a dead end. I extend my pinions towards a blue sky, the only place with space enough to hold these tears I cry. They say, why you want to fly, Blackbird? You ain't ever gonna fly. Why you want to fly, Blackbird? You ain't ever gonna fly. They gonna flunk you in them schools, lock you in them jails, preach about heaven as you rotten as hell. Who told you to break the eggshell, Blackbird? Who told you to breathe? Who told you to believe? Try to maim your wings with whips, chains, bloodstained history books. Try to denigrate your soul in the belly of ships. Blackbird afflicted with the the gift of Orisha spirits, tarred feathers, paragliding on blue notes, soaring on the hopes and prayers of the ancestors. Igun Goon waits for me at the crossroad of fate. Gravity may de delay my flight, but I will flail these brittle wings. I will flail these brittle wings. I will flail these brittle wings until the day I close my weary eyes. Why you want to fly, Blackbird? You ain't ever going to fly. Why you want to fly, Blackbird? You ain't ever going to fly. Thank you. Um, my handle is Diz Tommy uh, on Instagram, uh, at D-I-Z-Z-T-O-M-M-Y. And let me turn it back over to your wonderful host. Man, I really do appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all coming out and supporting and all of that. You know, the, the artist community, it seems like it just gets smaller and smaller and smaller, right? But it's just because we're all starting to know each other a little bit more, and that's nice. It's really nice. It feels like more of a community. So I saw a couple of people come in with like instruments and things like that. If you are looking for the open mic list, it is right there. You are more than welcome to go ahead and put your little name on there, whatever you would like me to call you. Um, and we would love to witness you, so please feel free to come share what it is that you have brought into community. Um, let's see. by having a guest some coffee here and was inspired by all these beautiful people and performers so I pulled out the old guitar uh, it hasn't been played in a thousand years I haven't played it in 500 years so we'll see how it goes now you know go. it doesn't work oh, this baby's seen a lot of dirt Coming 
up again Doing what I can, trying to understand Day by day I take another chance Front you in advance when you're on the fence And everybody knows when you're out there on your own And everybody knows how to get you on the phone Come hell or high waters, I can get me what I need Cause everybody knows Rockefeller cheddar in my hand Got my toes in the sand Cause I ain't ever had no plan at all Enough to meet the high demand Cruise when I can And you're lucky that you caught me at all Time is taking time and time again All them things I said Swimming in my head High and dry is hanging by a thread Sucking up sunshine through my cigarette and everybody knows when you're out there on the road and everybody knows how to get you on the phone come hell or high waters i can get you what you need because everybody knows a holy place I know when I'm out there on the road heaven and hell in such a holy place I know how to get her on the phone heaven and hell in such a holy place I know when I'm out there on my own okay. thank you uh, we're doing one or two? Oh, by the way, so I run a venue on 7th Street and Cherry. Uh, we yeah, we have bands every night. I do open mic nights. Uh, t tonight I'm doing a loop uh, set night. So anybody's welcome to show up. Everybody's welcome to play. Uh, so check me out. I'm on Quesera over here on 7th and Cherry. And you turn the axis of my world every time that you throw your curls. And even though my heart is black, you keep asking if I'm coming back. I know the world that keeps changing, changing. While the fields are rearranging in my heart. Within our souls, nothing will ever, ever tear us apart. From your strings, I swear I'll never let go. It's about a guitar, by the way, not a go. <laughs> Time no place, there's no universe at all that'll keep me from wanting you. There's no sun, no moon, there's no other form that's true. Every time I'm out here strumming you. There's no time, no place, no time, no place. We got no time, no place at all. There's no sun, no moon. There's no other form that's true. Oh, no, no.
there's no time, no place, no time, no place, we got no time, no place at all. There's no time, no place, no time, no place, we got no time, no place at all. There's no sun, no moon, there's no other form that's true. Oh, there's no time, no place, no time. Thank you. My name is Matthias. That's what I think is going to happen. Give it up one more time for Matias, man. I love doing this because it really brings community connections together. Yeah, I'm serious. I got to get connected with you. No, I don't. I told you last time I couldn't find it, remember? I got to get another one. I got to get another iPhone dongle. I don't know. Do you have one in there? No. You, you want to airdrop it to my laptop? So I got this song I'm going to do first. It's called Junipero Street. Uh, it's about the distortion of reality. And I always feel it's uh, nice to, to do it on Junipero. Junipero, whatever you call it. Yeah, this, this is this sound. Stop. Won't be back, don't call my bluff, baby. Baby, why you gotta be so cool? You know if I could change, I would, baby. Told me to just hit the road. But if I leave, I'm gone for good, baby. Never meant to hurt you. Never meant to break, it's like this shit was a curfew. Never been good at relationships. I'm one to burn bridges and sink the ships. Thank the bitch who first broke my heart. Haven't been together since we fell apart. Could blame my mother or this dad locked in prison. Could blame my brother or this fucked up system. But I'ma blame myself for every way I come short. Aim to forget you, pop, drink, snort, every damn thing I can get my hands on. Erase brain cells, barely hit my pants on. <laughs> hey, hey, so that's a, that's a song that's coming out on the first. Little, little, little preview. Thank you. <laughs> this one's Junipero Street. I'm 
Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah, anyway, this is all this is all practice for July 1st. We got Reverie Love coming out here. Uh, we're doing our first festival. So uh, come join us. A lot of the faces you see here will definitely be there. Uh, we're going to be jamming out. So. Uh, yeah, I'll just turn back to the mic, y'all. So like, not to record this one. I'm just, this is something new that I'm going to try. I didn't write this one, if you guys know. <laughs> talk to me, I talk back, let's talk money, I talk back. Come juice bowls, okay. Shay, shorty guy, trash, oh behave. Let's keep going, walk it out. Now walk it out, that's what I'm talking about. Find some violinists in the area. 
Maybe, maybe you know. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, okay. I know. Well, Sab. <laughs> okay. This is an original called Fuse. This would happen when the thrill stopped. I was afraid this would happen. Now I've got writer's block, and I don't know what to think anymore. And I don't know what to think. Maybe less is more, because we've been running on a few sides. I've been thinking less of you now that I've come out of the dark in a room by myself. We were running on a few sides, but so yeah. You think I didn't have a clue? She stared us straight in the eyes. We chose to lie. Stared us straight in the eyes. We chose to hide. Yeah. We've been running on a few sides. Yeah. Burn south. Yeah, I've been thinking less of you. And now that I have come out, I've been dark in a room by myself. Matthias, coming back. Oh, you're coming. Mary, excuse me, coming up. Ooh, I'm coming back. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, Not a crabby fanny. What's up, y'all? Y'all having a good time? All right. I can give you a little bit more. So I just talked to the feature. She is still on her way, so it's probably just California traffic, because I'm, I'm thinking that she's coming from, like, Fullerton. So, like, you know, we'll give her some time, some more time. I get way too close to these mics. Um, yeah, you want to do, like, I don't know, cover or original? What do you think? Uh, I, no, flip a coin. Okay, cover. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> the jam set. <laughs> Give it up one more time for the impromptu vibe session. We love it here. <laughs> we love it here. So I'm glad to let you know that our feature has arrived and is safe and sound. We're so glad that you're all right. We were worried about you because, you know, we know how it is out there on them California streets. Yeah. Are you ready? Do you need a second? You ready? All right. Please come help and look and welcome our featured poet to the stage, Bladder Powell. Hey everyone, how's it going? <laughs> so, um, well, we think that poetry is like this very complex art, right? Like, not everyone enjoys it, not everyone um, can, can listen to it with, with, with the ease that we can um, listen to music, right? But, um, and honestly, the first time that I, I was in an open mic and listening to like many poets, like I was a little bit intimidated because I, um, there, there are the, these amazing poets with this, like these complex and, and long poems. And I was like super intimidated because I was like, well, mine are simple and small and, and like intimate, but uh, being a copywriter, um, work and life has taught me that there is also uh, beauty in simplicity. So I hope that I can tr transmit those um, feelings to you with my small uh, but intimate and um, like uh, a type of slice of life poetry, right? So um, I want to start with one. Now that we're in a coffee shop, um, I got inspired by, by a friend or a person that I actually met uh, in a coffee shop. It's called, um, wait. I have a lot of poems, but yeah. Uh, so it's called A Stranger's Jazz. It's, it's an ode to a stranger that I once met in a coffee shop. So uh, here it goes. A Stranger's Jazz, a sip of green tea, a bite of a biscuit, both eyes looking at me like a pointing musket. A smiling stranger got me intrigued so I asked if he was alone. He replied, yes, indeed. I sat next to him when jazz started playing. Our words on tempo and our conversation flying. Who knew that a stranger could know so much, become a friend in so little, and treat you as such? It was a pain when he left a stranger with pizzazz, who I'm sure to meet again with tea and some jazz. <laughs> and um, speaking of like small and intimate things, um, especially right now that we're in Long Beach, um, I have, um, I don't know what to call him, but he's, he's my pa nephew, like, <laughs> Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, that's better. My pa nephew, he lives in Long Beach. His name is Pumba. He's a Frenchie. And um, I actually went to walk him in autumn, this um, last year's autumn, actually in that park over there. So now that we're close um, and some of you can see it, maybe you can feel as if you're walking with me and Pumba. Um, so this is for Pumba. 
and for all of you that like this park. So here it goes. The, the name of the poem is The Local Suburb Park. Crunchy leaves in the autumn breeze, a concrete made road, dogs on a leash to keep out of reach, but people and dogs seem to approach anyway. Rampaging toddlers see why they bothered, waving the dog hello if there is no reply. Cashmere wrapped mothers, all of those shudders when their kids want to explore. Men in bikes wearing tights, even though it's a short bike ride and a longer walk. Hands linked, conversation in sync. Couples not walking fast enough for others to pass by. Cotton candy skies and dim street lights. What a beautiful walk in the park. Um, now that, um, that we're talking a, a lot about, like, coffee shops and, um, parks, um, and friendship, um, I, I wanted to read this next poem that is actually, that, that was actually written here in Long Beach, like, all of these <laughs> poems, um, so I, I just moved to Long Beach a year ago, and I've been loving it. And like, I think it's like a source of many of many of my poems. So and because I I've, I've been meeting a lot of people, and not only so I I studied college in Mexico City. So it's it's very it's very funny how I when I go to visit my friends. Uh, I feel like Long Beach in certain ways have, has changed me. I'm originally from San Diego. Like, I'm, I'm from all over the place. <laughs> so it's, it's funny how uh, Long Beach, in a sense, I moved here because it, reminded, it reminded me so much of San Diego. And for me, it's like a place where I am. Like, I, I feel like moving from place to place to place because... San Diego, Mexico, um, Long Beach, like, it, it kind of, like, you, you don't get to grow roots with, with any of the relationships that you, that you have, but I feel like Long Beach in a certain way has, has made me grow stronger and deeper roots with, with many of my friends and, like, with new people that, that I've been meeting, so... Um, this next one is actually um, for a friend that I met in Mexico City, but our friendship has been like blooming here in Long Beach. So he's actually here. <laughs> so uh, this is called, well, this is called Rev. It's because he speaks French, so. I, I wanted it to like give it like a, a, a title in French. Rêve is um, dream. So here it goes. Take a sip of this fine wine. It will take you to and fro in time, imagining the things that might be, living life and living free, visiting far and foreign lands, writing grandiose things till having sore hands on a stage drowned in applause, or giving a speech for one awards. However big your dreams may be, as long as they're crazy, I guarantee that it'll all be worth today, or so they say. Raise a glass for talking crazy, even if the future seems hazy. A room filled with motivation, and a couple of friends drunk in conversation. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I like, um, coffee and wine and parks as, as you can, as you can tell. <laughs> um, and speaking of art, um, I feel like all of you guys have, uh, are artists, so I actually wrote this poem yesterday to, to de dedicate 
to all of you who are artists and and to you specifically <laughs> because you, <laughs> you and you invited me over here so here it goes it's it goes like this complex strokes and rough Art sketches. Art ain't no hoax, but the artist ledges. Ink is their blood. Oil is their tear. They draw their smile with happiness a sheer. They capture moments with a sharp skill, enhancing their beauty in movement or still. 